Crews are working around the clock to clean up thousands of gallons of diesel fuel that spilled into the Ohio River. And tonight, Duke Energy says it takes full responsibility for the spill, which happened at the Beck Jordan Power Plant near New Richmond. Local 12's Anjanette Levy joins us live from the banks of the Ohio, where the cleanup stands tonight. Anjanette, tell us that. Well, Rob, I'm standing right in front of Great American Ballpark, and some of that diesel fuel has actually moved down river right past where we're standing. The bad news tonight is that crews won't be able to remove all of that diesel fuel from the river. They say some of it will have to just move down river and either evaporate or eventually dissipate. But there are some people tonight who hang out on the river who are concerned about what this spill could do to the wildlife in the water. Chris Martin and his cousin went to the banks of the Ohio River for an evening of fishing. Then the pair realized as much as 5,000 gallons of diesel fuel was floating down the river. Just like any oil spill, you're going to hurt animals in yeah. the ecosystem via fish or birds. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources is still evaluating what the spill means for fish and other wildlife in and along the Ohio. The EPA is monitoring the cleanup. Booms are pushing the fuel to the riverbank. We found some fuel in the river in Anderson Township. As the fuel is corralled, a vacuum will remove it. Uh, there is sheen, oil sheen, uh, on the surface, mainly along the Ohio side, and there's pockets of recoverable oil uh, at four collection points where we have crews working. Duke Energy says diesel spilled around 11.15 last night. The cause remains under investigation. It's believed human error may have played a role. We are accepting full responsibility for the cleanup of this incident. Uh, we care deeply about the environment and we're going to stay the course until we have all of it contained. The water we drink comes from the Ohio River. Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley says, Our drinking water, which I'm drinking right now, is safe. Intake valves have been shut off. Meanwhile, Chris Martin hopes the cleanup will be swift. It's probably going to make for bad fishing, honestly, just in general. And tonight the U.S. EPA estimates that about 10 percent of that diesel fuel that spilled has been contained. The EPA plans to update us tomorrow on the cleanup efforts and um, they want to give us an also an update about the potential environmental impact of this spill. Reporting live, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Rob? Anjanette, thanks very much. A Duke Energy spokeswoman says the diesel fuel was used as an ignition source for its coal-fired boilers.